check it out. They've got a Large Hadron Collider exhibit where they held the Maker Fair last year. I don't think I'm allowed in here, but what the hell? Let's go. Whoa, look at that. That's a lot of brass. It's a lot of brass. It's an accelerating cavity. There you go. They've got, is that like a, <laughs> it looks like the real deal. You don't, that's all machined. It's a machine brass sphere. It reminds me of the uh, Spherion sonar, which I worked on for a little bit, or part, a little part of it, um, when I was working at uh, Tally's back in the day. Don't know what that is. <gasps> Tevatron focusing magnet. There you go, from 1982. So they've pulled these out of the archives. Beautiful. And it looks like we've got a dark auditorium. So please excuse the. Uh... Yep. Here we go. We've got a continuously running show. But uh, I definitely have to come back and like check this out properly because you've got to read like everything and it's uh whoop 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 this is where beams are created yes i've done a uh, well i've done a video on an accelerator anyway most of the lhc ring is made from incredibly powerful magnets yes it is imk <laughs> um it's, australians will understand imk um, if you watch Young Einstein, anyway, if you haven't watched Young Einstein, I highly recommend it. Classic Australian movie. Anyway, that's, look at that. Is that a big copper, uh, like Taurus in the middle or something? I don't know. LHC tunnel, accelerating cavity. There you go, prototype. They work at a chilly minus 268.7 degrees and sit in a bath of liquid helium to keep them cool. Cool, pun intended. A CERN, because they have bikes around CERN, because you've got to get around, it's huge. Wow, wow. Superconducting dipole magnet. That's it, look at that. They've welded little bits on the end and a few in the middle like that, but basically they just shoved on those rods and and serious bits of kit dipole magnet slice sounds delicious <laughs> that is terrific i won't try and pretend i know the physics behind all this stuff i will not pretend superconductor flower oh i like the superconductor flower wow an ornamental flower made of <laughs> okay, it's ornamental. LHC tunnel, beam pipe section, that's not very exciting. Oh, you know, look at how they've, is that copper that they've formed in there? I don't know. We've got another oh, focusing magnet slice, beam on, beam. whoa, that was freaky. I almost thought it was a tunnel. Wow. Ta-da. We have a 3D presentation. Ah, oh, it's starting in 30 seconds. I won't spoil it. You'll have to come to the powerhouse and see for yourself. Magnet interconnect. There you go. Sweet, it's one of the prototypes. So they've got real stuff here. So they must have shipped it. Would have been heavy to ship a lot of this stuff. Ooh, we got more. Here we go. I don't know what that is, but this looks interesting. Wow, oh, a detector. Vertex locator modules. Beauty experiments. <laughs> Designed to make very precise measurements of processes involving beauty particles known as bottom quarks. This helps us to learn how matter, not any matter, came to dominate the universe. 
sits just seven, meter, seven millimeters from the collision point, closer than any other detector in the LHC. Wow. There you go. That's an awesome bit of kit. It's incredible. Look at that, the, the fine traces. Wow. That's impressive. And are these, these connecting cables coming out? Wow, Stun that is stunning. It is absolutely stunning. I have no I'd love to know the physics behind how that works. That is fantastic. Wow. The Velo detector surrounds the actual collision point. So the tracks that are produced in the collision, the particles that are produced in the collision go through the detector. And they leave their mark in the detector which allows us to say where the particle traveled after the collision point and we measure a sufficient number of points to be able to join the dots up to point back to where they came from and hence calculate the collision point the velo opens and closes because the silicon is very very sensitive and is easily damaged we wanted to ensure that it was well away from the proton beams during the injection process so the velo is in an open position where the two sensors are about six centimeters apart during the proton injection but once the collisions have been established and the beams are stable the two halves are brought together to a closed position so that the silicon sensors completely surround the beam Thank you very much. No anonymous person explaining that. Or Girish Patel. One of the main purposes of the LHCB experiment is to get a handle on Wow. That is terrific. Wow, another thing that looks thoroughly impressive. More detectors. Transition radiator tracker section, silicon tracker pedal, compact muon solenoid experiment. Wow. Look at those. Look at that. You got custom silicon, of course, driving that. There's fine traces going out to, I don't know how the sensor works. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, got no idea of the physics behind the actual sensor. Electronics, I understand. Very nice, lots of flat flex going on in there. But uh, yeah, look, they're like some, they're silicon tracker well it's a silicon tracker pedal awesome this is so impressive they've got tons of stuff here large ion collider experiment alice there you go time of flight mm. i don't know i'm sure there's a lot of impressive physics going on in there oh lots of lots of din backplane connectors on there Wow. Wow. And it's a very cool exhibit they've got. Yep, uh, this is very nice. It's all like one of the scientists. She's like, oh, she's excited because she's just discovered something. She's found it. She's discovered it. This is very cool. Hats off to the organizers of this and that's it. That's the exit. That is brilliant. Wow, hope you like that. If you're in Sydney, definitely come check it out.